This is um, September 28, 2015. I'm Dr. Alan Blum, and I want to introduce my colleague who went to uh, an, an event at the uh, Coleman Coliseum on the campus of the University of Alabama last week. My name is Will Keenan. I went to the career fair in Coleman Coliseum in fall of 2015. I, I walked into the career fair, and they were right they're in the back, kind of hidden next to a lot of the um, health care service companies. And if you didn't know what they were, you just thought they were just a regular company. Altria is a name until you recognize the Philip Morris sign. They were very polite. They tried to sell me on the relationships that I would have with the farmers. You know, That's interesting because they weren't really at first offering a uh, position to sell in stores. This was something new then. Most of the times the positions that they offer are what are called uh, sales territory managers or internships. But in this instance, was this a summer job or a full-time job? Uh, this would have been a full-time job in, in Kentucky, what it sounds like. And I would be a, a manager of in charge of 30 employees and kind of working with the farmers to try to improve their crops. And, um, and your major is what? I'm biology. I see. But you're also, uh, we met when you when I spoke in your course um, on, um, what, what actually, what's the title of the course that we spoke in, that, you, that you're in? It's for pre-medical students. Yes, it's um, Medicine in the Community. It's through the Honors College. Mm -hmm. And they said that, you know, I'd be working with, I'd have a leadership role in their company. Um, they've got great benefits. Um, I asked them about sales, and they said, yes, you'd be working in, in sales and didn't say anything further. Mm -hmm. um, they were just, you know, very... It, she was very timid about it. So and interesting that you, you sensed that she wasn't entirely as gung-ho as her own position, which was to recruit University of Alabama students to work for the company. Exactly. She was she didn't seem very passionate about what she was doing. And it was a oh, good. No, it's funny because one of their one of their mottos is a passion to succeed. You know, that's that's what they always say. And uh, they, they gave you various items, uh, did they not? I mean, brochures and then a, 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 a sort of a, a, sh a, a reusable, environmentally safe uh, shopping bag. And uh, what are the other trinkets this year? Yeah, um, the sunglasses and um, the bag. And, you know, they talked about all the benefits that you would have, mm -hmm. the health care benefits and the opportunities to move up in, in their company. Were there other students that you saw talking with them and that, that, that looked perhaps more enthusiastic than you were? Um, there were a couple other students that I noticed that came up to them, but they weren't. I noticed a lot, that a lot of the other booths, they were actively recruiting. Um, they are actively, you know, hey, come to this booth. You mm -hmm. know, we've got so many job offers. And they were kind of nonchalant. They try, tried to blend in with, the, with everybody else. Interesting. So, of course, Altria does make uh, Marlboro cigarettes. That's their, by far and away, their leading product. I once heard uh, when they owned Kraft, and originally when they came to the University of Alabama campus, when I first got here and were at the career fairs, they, um, um, they were a multi, well, they were a very diverse company. They owned Kraft, and that made over, I think, 3,000 different food products. And I heard um, when I worked in Houston, uh, and met someone from Maxwell House, which they also own, that two things. First of all, they paid the Maxwell House uh, sales force um, a bonus every year. Um, might have been 5%, 10%. And they paid the, the cigarette side bonuses in multiples of their salary. And that the second thing I heard was that the profit from Marlboro, just that one brand, which has now 42% of the U.S. cigarette market, was more than all of the 3,000 Kraft General Foods products combined. So it, it just gives you an idea of the fact that Altria, at least the one thing you can say about them now is that that's all they make is cigarettes. And um, so I, I, I guess, though, the question is, this is one of only 35 university campuses that I'm aware of that they still come to and try to recruit students. And um, I just wanted to know then your overall feeling uh, about it and I know that you knew they would be there because that's how you happen to go, but uh, um, what, what are your only other impressions that you might have just as a general comment for anyone that, that might want to imagine what it was like to come across a tobacco company recruiting at a university? It was almost as if it, my overall impression was that I was talking to, a, it was like a, I was like a teacher talking to a student that just got, got caught cheating. Like it's, 
I can see why somebody would do it, why somebody would work for, for a company because they've got great benefits because, you know, you're, you're going to move up in, in their company. But at the end of the day, you know that it's not that it's wrong and it's, it's not going to help you in the long run. And she and she kind of I could tell that she was there because she knew she had to be. But she wasn't that passionate about it because she didn't maybe believe in their company like some of the other booths that I talked to. Well, in previous years, we asked about, well, I didn't, but uh, students that went told me that they asked about whether they could work for the, uh, they have something called the youth, or they, they call it, I think they call it the anti-youth smoking program. Um, and at least that's what I like to call it, anti-youth. But uh, it's, a, it's one of those things that has occasional public service ads on TV saying don't smoke. Of course, they're a cigarette company. And we don't want kids to smoke. Well, naturally, they don't because it's not good for their business. It doesn't look good for little kids to smoke. But um, we, we had them, they asked, wh what, uh, what possibility could I work, could I possibly work for the, the anti-smoking part? And they said, oh, no, no, no. You have to work for the Marlboro part first for two years before you can move into the children's anti-smoking <laughs> program. And, um, it, you know, at the time, too, Philip Morris owned Kraft, uh, one kid asked whether she could work for the craft, and they said, no, 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 we're Philip Morris Tobacco. And it was very clear that the only thing that they were ever recruiting on this campus for, uh, at least in the 16 years at the University of Alabama that I'm aware of, has been for the cigarette um, division. So just one last thing then. You're a pre-medical student, Well, and wh where are you from? I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And um, you have also some family uh, history in, in your, uh, that, you, that is somewhat relevant to this, in a medical background? Or? Definitely. Um, my, my grandfather was a pediatrician in Selma, Alabama, and um, he, was the, he was one of the only two pediatricians there. And, you know, in, in a small town like that, everybody goes to, to him. Everybody knew his name, um, and, he, and he was a heavy smoker. Oh. And, um, and he actually died of lung cancer um, because of smoking. And so, you know, that's inspired me to go into medicine, just be, to have the same relationships that, I've, that he had with, with um, his patients. And they still, every time I go back to Selma, everybody knows I'm Dr. Owen Keenan's grandson. Wow. You know, I, I so appreciate you taking time out to talk. And, and that, that's sort of like my own father, who was affected by smoking. He had a heart uh, attack when he was 44. He started in medical school. And, uh, and he encouraged me, don't make the same mistake and, and, and save these advertisements because no one's going to believe how devious and really malevolent they were uh, associating tobacco with sports and just pretending it's just another product and that everything causes disease and you might as well enjoy things. So I think we're both following in our respective um, relatives' footsteps. And thank you. I know you're going to be a great physician. Yes, sir. Thank you.